Kay, do you have an idea for a passion project, but you just need that push to get going? We have some help for you this morning. Here with tips on starting your own side hustle is finance expert Barry Choi. Barry, thanks so much for yeah, being here. Yeah, anytime. Okay, so how do you figure out what your side hustle is? Well, first you look at your everyday job, right? And be like, hey, is there something I do at work which I can, you know, maybe sell to someone else? So maybe a graphic designer, if you're a writer, or maybe you don't necessarily need to be that good at your job per se. But say you're just handy, right? You like to art, anything, right? But to me, it's just like, what, can, what skills do you have which you can market to someone else? Okay, so, and you also recommend we need to know why we want to side hustle. Yeah, because like, what's the point of like having a side hustle if you don't know what you're gonna do with that money? So some people do it for like a passion project, like you said. But for other people, maybe they're saving for that vacation. Maybe they're saving for that home down payment. Like, I don't love it when people would say, hey, I'm gonna make some extra money just so I can blow that money. Because what's the point? You're basically working more hours to spend more money. Right, and right? we really need to, to be motivated. Yeah, right? yeah, so if you've got that goal in mind, which is one of our tips later, then you'll realize, hey, this is what I'm working towards. Okay, right? we obviously have to get the word out there, so you recommend <laughs> to start marketing yourself. Yeah, yeah, so at the beginning, you know, marketing yourself, it's like any business, you gotta get that word of mouth out there. So maybe at the start, it's like, hey, telling your friends, telling your family, hey, you know what, just so you know, I do this on the side. Maybe, hey, do you need your IKEA furniture built? I can build it for you for X dollars an hour, right? Or maybe it's posting it on Upworthy, TaskRabbit. Look for those websites where you can get the word out and, know, and let people know that, hey, I've got a service if you're looking for someone. I love that you recommend places outside of social media because my first thought would have been like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, but you mentioned two other sites. That yeah, yeah, so, so people don't realize when you start to get into these side hustles, you gotta figure out, hey, where am I gonna market myself? So, you know, I mentioned TaskRabbit, which is one website, which is more like physical things, you hang pictures, wall mounts, and then Upwork is where you're more professional skills, graphic design, writing. Uh, so anywhere where you can find a place that you can market yourself, that's where you wanna look for. Our next step is to set a goal for that yeah, side hustle. That's right. So I talked about that. So, you know, if your goal is to say, hey, let's save X amount of dollars for, for my down payment or that vacation, figure out how much do I need to get to get there, right? So figure out, is your side hustle actually worth it? You know, obviously, if you're working for $10 an hour below minimum wage, what's the point? And you, know, you got to factor in all the other time, marketing and everything else. You just mentioned the money, and I imagine the money comes down to almost, it's our last goal, but, or our yeah. last note, but it's perhaps the most important because these side hustles can make us a lot of money, but they can also cost us a yeah, lot. Yeah, so the nice thing about side hustles, obviously, like we talked about, it's going to make you money, hopefully, right? But at the same time, you got to know your overall expense. Cash flow is a very important thing because if you don't manage your cash flow pro properly, you might not be able to take on projects. And if you're successful with your, your side hustle, you need to think about your taxes. You know, HST registration, you got to make sure you put aside money for your taxes uh, because people don't realize you need to report any additional in income. Right, and set aside time to actually do those taxes. <laughs> exactly. So make sure you've got a way to track it. You know, there's many apps out there which will even track your, your sales tax for you. Okay, Barry, thank you so much. We so appreciate you coming in. Yeah, anytime.